CBS 47's Ben Morris has a look at the heartbreaking scene the sheriff's office discovered today. Sheriff Vern Warnke says he's never seen any level of human trafficking to this scale. Dozens of people who were promised a better life forced to work in awful conditions. There was no place to sleep. There was, uh, like I say, 60 people. Some of them were sleeping in their cars. Some of them were sleeping in enclosed trailers like a U-Haul trailer. Some of them were on a blanket on the ground uh, in the weeds. Um, they had two portable restrooms, little outhouses. The sheriff Thursday told us investigators believe all of the people found, both men and women migrants, from a 16-year-old to people in their 60s, were dropped here in the 900 block of Vassar Avenue only days ago. They were then forced to process and package illegal marijuana after they were guaranteed a good paying job and a better life. A lot of them came over with promises to pay back the folks that were illegally transporting them. And uh, some of them actually paid tens of thousands of dollars to get here. Warnke says none of the 60 people were taken into custody, believing they are all victims in this case. Child Protective Services was called in for the lone 16 year old who was then returned to their parents. As for the adults, however, each of them refused protection services. I think out of fear because, you know, in that line of work uh, the, with the call them coyotes uh, or with uh, cartels, because there's got to be some organized crime behind this, you know, with them promising to pay, now they can't. Several hundred pounds of illegal marijuana were confiscated in this raid. Sheriff Warnke asked if you have any information at all about who is responsible that you contact the Merced County Sheriff's Office. 